Good evening, guys. Nate here, Murray Farm and Ranch. Coming to you on an absolutely beautiful Oklahoma afternoon. It's April 1st here in uh, Oklahoma, but it's no joke. This is a beautiful day. Blessed to be here, blessed to be on the farm. Just coming to check on my cows. I've got uh, quite a few that are getting close to having calves. I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on some of the animals. They are they are filling their bellies on this green grass. We've got a lot of nice grass coming up. Some native, some Bermuda, some clover, and uh, they're they are happy to have it. They've still got. Uh, I'm putting bales out still. Um, I've been putting two out every, well, whenever they need them. They're lasting a week or 10 days. And I'm doing that so that I can give uh, the grass as little pressure as possible. I want that grass to get up, you know, four or five inches tall, and then it can really sustain pretty heavy grazing. And uh, by, by putting some hay out, that takes some of the attention off the grass and they'll eat some of that good quality hay. I've got some round bells of alfalfa and rye that uh, they seem to be liking real well. But anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at some cows. Here's our old girl. WF Sari and uh, her new heifer calf. Sari's always on the skittish side, so she's gonna mosey on off. Sari's a big cow. She's about a 1,500 pound cow. She's got a, I think uh, she had over 104 inches of total horn. I mean, look at that thing. Boy, that's a beautiful calf. Heifer calf from a McGill bred cow that has 104 total inches of horn. I don't know, but sorry's got nothing to be sorry about. Whew, that's a pretty cow. This is sorry, not sorry. She's got impressive headgear as well. She won one of the medals at the uh, Lot and Horn Showcase for Total Horn for her age class. She also doesn't have a super impressive tip to tip measurement, but my goodness, does she have impressive horns. Big cow, big full bodied. And she liking this green grass. I mean, she's eating it like she's mad at it. go this is old cowgirl Kate cowgirl Kate's got beautiful coloring she's just got really like she painted up like a rodeo clown I mean she's just got that coloring she's a uh, Dell hunt bread so from the rock and H She should be having us a pretty calf anytime. She's got some beautiful twisty horns. She also is eating that grass like she's mad at it. That's okay. They got plenty out here to graze on. This little Charmaine. Charmaine was the first cow that I purchased on my own we had a couple of cows before her but she was the first one that i saw and i looked at her pedigree she had some cowboy tough checks in her line and i thought you know what i need to have this cow i bought her as a uh she was she was a bred first time heifer when i bought her she's had a calf every year and they're always just beautiful calves. She has real, she just throws some beauties. She threw a calf this year that uh, 
is almost identical in coloration. They've got similar appearing spots. I'll, uh, we'll see if we can't get up that way and look at the, he the uh, weaned heifers here in just a little bit. Oh, Jazzy Doll. So Jazzy Doll, we purchased her at the Lot and Horn Showcase. She's like 11 or 12 years old. Has a calf every year. She's a giant cow. I want to say that she's like 1,754 pounds through the... That was on certified scales at the Lot and Horn Showcase. She's got right at 80 inch tip to tip horns. And she epitomizes what is just awesome about the Longhorn breed. This super cool color. Great mama. Party cow. I've got no complaints with old Jazzy. And she's got a really pretty heifer calf somewhere out here in the pasture. Um, born back in November. Let's see if we can't get a look at her calf. And this is that girl. So this calf was born in November, right around Thanksgiving. I think it was like November 21st or so, something like that. She's got a great build to her. She also is gonna be a big cow. You can just tell that she's got the frame already for just a couple month old calf. Not too sure about me and her being out here by herself away from her mama. You're okay though, sweet girl. I ain't gonna hurt you. You may be a lifer here at Murray Ranch. I don't know. It'd be hard to part with you. Got somebody wanting to be a little curious. So this is Dances in the Rain. Indian Girls calf from two years ago so she'll be two coming up probably this month actually hey baby girl you feel, you feeling a little adventurous yeah yeah look at that so this girl she's got that beautiful coloration on her face nice flat laid out horns that are gonna probably curl. She's probably gonna have a little curl to them. Her mama does. Alpha switch back through that color that nice coloration pattern on her. I'll tell you, I've got no complaints with this heifer. So she's bred, should be bred to uh, Cowboy Bill. Rose, range of rose. Rose is our first longhorn cow. Rose is one of those things that you can't that can't be bought. They say that everything has a price, but if someone were to buy a rose, that'd mean they bought me out of the longhorn, the farm and the ranch business. Because I'll never part with this old girl. Rose makes my life easier. She'll follow me anywhere. The other cows trust her. They look to her for direction. And if I can get Rose to follow me, everybody else will come. So Rose makes my life a lot easier. Ain't that, ain't that right, girl? The other thing about Rose is that she has beautiful babies. And this is her baby from two years ago. And she, this is Stella Rose, and Stella, she doesn't disappoint. I mean, she's got just beautiful coloration. Just super cool looking heifer. She also is bred to Cowboy Bill, or should be. He had a chance, a couple of months worth of opportunity. Here's old Dixie. Dixie is one of Bashful's calves. She was the first calf, first heifer calf that we had out of Bashful. Had a heifer calf herself this year that we have already weaned and is up in the 
pin with the with the weaned heifers. She's got really cool droopy horns. Super friendly cow. Very easy to work. Very gentle. Hey Dixie. Hey Dixie girl. She didn't much want to talk today, but she's a great, great cow. Barbie. If you guys watch our videos, you know that Barbie had a eye injury that I had to take care of. She looks great. Her eye doesn't look all disfigured and so forth. She's got a great build on her. Beautiful color. She's got that red roan color. I mean, I just couldn't be any more pleased with, with her. She's not too interested in seeing the camera today. But that's okay. We talk about a cow that is ready to pop. This is Midnight Lady. So Midnight Lady has got a bag on her that is impressive. She's got nice twisty horn. She's bred to Mr. Alpha Switchback and I cannot wait to see what calf she has this year. Look at that bag on her. I mean, she's ready to pop. She's had us uh, two heifers in a row. Beautiful cow, good mama. She's very, uh, Midnight Lady is a smart cow. She's kind of skittish. She knows when something's going on. If, I, if I'm going to work cows or move cows into a different pasture, she's always kind of one that's a little bit suspicious of what's going on. But she's a great cow. She kind of embodies what a longhorn is all about. Right there, that look right there. Rolly twisty horn, nice coloration. I mean, this, this heifer here was born two years ago as well. This is a midnight lady calf. She's got a nice good figure on her. Real nice flat back. She's got a good build. Got that classic Texas longhorn look. Her horns are gonna roll out. She's gonna have twisty horns like her mama. She's gonna be a great cow. She's She should be bred to Cowboy Bill as well. Can't wait to see what happens out of that. Here's old Blue Crush. She's got a big pregnant belly and a pretty nice size bag on her. She's been She's been working on being the end stages of pregnancy for about two weeks now. I don't know if her belly could get any bigger. Blue Crush is a very good cow. She never disappoints. Solid black, which is uh, not super common for Longhorns. She raises a good calf every year. She's a big cow, good milker good mama easy to work she's the kind of cow I like to have in my herd got old beauty beauty is a spectacular cow she's heavy bred look at that bag on her that bag looks good it's uh, 55% in the back 45% in the front slightly angled forward no engorged or swollen, irritated looking teats. It's a good looking bag. Beauty has nice twisty horn. Big full bodied cow. She's another looker. She has beautiful calves. There's nothing that Beauty can't do that's not pretty. I promise you. It's uh, She puts a good one out there for us every year. This little red calf here, this is Reba. Reba is Rose's 29, uh, 2020 calf. That right there is Loretta. Loretta is Midnight Lady's 2020 calf. And that is Dottie. And Dottie is Charmaine's 2020 calf. We've got Dolly coming back here. That's Beauty's 2020 heifer calf. And then we have 
Emilu, which is Dixie's 2020 calf, 2020 surprise calf. This little heifer right here, just her color is amazing. Nothing, nothing does her justice because she's beautiful. Charmaine's heifer calf, Dottie, looks just like her. I mean, she, they're, they're spitting images of each other. She has real nice, flat, laid out horns. She's big bodied. She's, she's the biggest of all the heifers uh, from 2020 so far. She's got a nice look to her. She's gonna make a great mama cow. Dolly, like I said, is beauties, pepper calf. And she also has some really great coloration. I really think she's gonna make a good cow. She's probably gonna have some twisty horns. She's gonna be your prototypical longhorn. And these two, Loretta and Reba, I think they round out the 2020 heifer crop pretty nicely. Especially, the Loretta's really pretty. She's got this nice straight back. Her her hair is just a, just an immaculate white, fluffy. She's just a pretty cat, pretty heifer. Reba's got a real feminine face. She's super gentle. Very pleased with the 2020 heifers. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed going on a walk out in the pasture with me this evening. I mean, it couldn't be any more beautiful. April 1st, uh, you know, in Oklahoma, most of the time when it's sunny, the wind's blowing. If the temperature's right, sometimes it's rainy. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get the perfect match of uh, conditions. And today, you know, it's like 70 degrees. There's almost no wind, sunshine, and not a cloud in the sky. My goodness, it's just beautiful here. And uh, we've got green grass growing, fat, happy cows, mamas that are about to give babies. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't get much better on Murray Farm and Ranch. Folks, subscribe for future content. Help us out, give us a subscribe, ring the notification bell, like the video, share the video. We're gonna to continue to try to give you guys good information and and uh, just, you know, look at farm and ranch life, what we do out here on a day-to-day -day basis. Till the next one.